Hey YouTube. Hey, um, I'm out on the road for work. Um, I'm staying in a hotel and I had to go shopping to pick up some stuff and I went to Walmart. And as I was sitting there, st forgive me, standing in the aisle waiting to check out, I look over and I'm like, hey, there's where the comic books are. So I picked up some comics. Um, and I picked up 10 of them. I picked up a three pack and then I picked up another pack. It was seven books for $10. That's cheaper than $1.30 per comic. I don't know what I got with it, um, whether or not they're gonna be worth anything. I don't know, but I figured why not give it a shot. And besides that, I, it gives me something to read while I'm here on the road. So let's look at the three pack first, because I don't know if there's gonna be a difference in quality of books in the three pack versus the, the uh, seven pack. Who knows? We'll find out. So this first one here we got, and excuse me, the lighting's not the best here. Um, this is Avengers Black Widow number one. It's a nice cover here. I don't know. I haven't read a whole lot of Black Widow comics here and there. I've read her mostly with the Avengers, but uh, it's a solid, solid character. Um, love her in the movies. But Occupy Avengers. I, to be honest with you, I've never heard of this title. don't know anything about this. This is uh, number three. And most of these Walmart books, I've noticed, they're, they're variant covers. And we all know some variant covers hit big. And, you know, if you're a speculator, they become very valuable. Some of them don't do so hot. Uh, but we don't know about the Walmart variants yet. It's still a uh, hit or miss. I've read a couple uh, articles where... For example, Batman 89, the third printing, which is the Walmart variant. They say that that might be a low print run and that might be valuable in the future. That's the first appearance of Punchline. Who knows? I, I, I couldn't tell you. They also have a third printing of a, a Hell Arisen number three, which is... Some people say Hell Arisen 3 is the first appearance of Punchline. Some people say it's Batman 89. I have no idea. But Here's a variant cover of Guardians of the Galaxy. 146 this is neat it's here's the cover but and it has a holographic cover and i think there's another name for it and i don't know if this is going to show up on the video ah, yeah it does the different uh pictures that it makes it does show up <laughs> i have a hard time seeing it in person but it works perfect on the camera all right so that was the the three pack honestly decent books nothing spectacular but let's go to the seven pack, see if that's any different. Mm. Here's a dollar comic book, a True Believers, Wolverine, number one. Now, I kind of like these True Believers, but not for value. I like them because you can get a classic book to display. I mean, they look sharp in a room and everything, but this is a classic book. But it was it's a dollar at the LCS. So far, so far right now, I'm not so happy. But hey. You know, who knows? Um, Inhumans versus X-Men, number two. It's a miniseries, second printing. To be honest, I don't know much about this miniseries here. I heard about it. I remember when it came out. I saw it in a preview magazine. I didn't pick it up. X-Men Blue. Next one issue is this? Number one. And this does say variant edition. Now, I'm looking at this. The corner is definitely dinged. Not a big fan of that, but it's what you get whenever you uh, buy books that are packed in cellophane. And this is not a variant edition. This is Uncanny X-Men number 12, Legacy 631. I kind of like how they do the legacy uh, numbers on there because with all the reboots, you. If you're someone like me, you like collecting the whole run. You like knowing the whole series, the whole story. And whenever they start out at one, they're not brand new comic books with brand new characters. They have a legacy, and it's real. And that's 631. It's like a little shout out to people like me. <laughs> and I appreciate that. This is a really striking cover. This is Infinity Wars number two. Now, there is a big, giant problem with this one. That corner is super dinged. I don't know if that shows up, but it's super dinged. I, let's see, does it break paint, ink? Oh yeah, it definitely breaks ink. So, it's not a pressable defect. It's pressable, it's a defect. 
but you won't get rid of it with a press and a defect. Or, <laughs> won't get rid of the defect with a press. Uh, Invincible Iron Man number 14. This is a Civil War II tie-in. Gotta love Tony Stark on that. Sorry, I was looking at it. I hadn't seen this one before. And here's a kind of cool book. Uh, Silver Surfer, but I think it's a, a uh, Squirrel Girl. It is. Uh, let's see, where does it go? Where's Squirrel Girl? There she is. <laughs> what is this book called? The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, number 27. <laughs> Not bad. I kind of like these covers. I got a couple more of these um, with other Walmart packs that I've picked up. And so far, nothing from Walmart's been spectacular. But who knows? You know, you never know what's going to happen down the road. And it's kind of fun to pick up a book, you know, at somewhere other than an LCS. Just to see. Maybe it'll be worth it. Maybe it won't. But all right, guys. Hey, uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Down below and uh, thank you very much. You guys have a great day.